Well, we've been celebrating love all week in honor of Valentine's Day, but according to a new survey, 41% of women say they actually dread the holiday. And we're back for more Plugged In. We've got Nina, we've got Dax, and Joe Levy decided to stick around because he loves Valentine's <laughs> I Day. I do. So <laughs> romantic. You love it. You're a I romantic do. I do. I am. You do something big for your wife? I, I, I like to think it's big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Clean it up, Joe. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? He started off in the everything. red room of pleasure. All right, now here's the, the, the red room of pleasure. Yes, I like to think it's red. Now, uh, I, I make dinner. I make dinner. That's, that's, I think that's sweet. Right, right. Now, that's not that's unusual because I always make dinner, but I, I make a fancier dinner. You add a candle. But, Sure, yeah. <laughs> sounds like a good idea, and I'm going to steal but that Nina, idea. But why are 40% of women dreading this holiday? You know what? I, think, I feel like social media has made it, it... It used to be a lot of pressure, and now with social media, where everybody has these relationship goals, and everybody has a perfect relationship on social media, everybody is trying to one-up each other. So I, you know, so yeah. it's, it's like, oh, I got flowers. Well, girl, I, he bought me the whole store. Yeah. You know, he took me to a garden. <laughs> so you can't ever just one-up the next person. It, it just becomes a, a, you know, a show of appearance and not really of like true value. And I feel bad for the guys, Dax, because I feel like there's more pressure on you, you know, all I, than I there think is on the ladies, I right? I think it's pressure for the first two Valentines that you go through. Beyond the two Valentines, then you relax. You don't care anymore. My wife and I, we do cards for each other. It's a, it's a yeah. normal Tuesday evening for us. We don't do anything special. Because you know what? You got the rest of the year to do something special yeah. for each other. Well, I think that's it. I, I mean, it's like every day should be a little bit of something Valentine's I Day. I feel like Valentine's Day to me is just like how I feel about New Year's Eve. Like when people say, I'm going to Vegas for New Year's Eve. I feel like you're an amateur. Totally. Amateur mm -hmm. hour. Like, yeah, OK, that's when everybody goes. Big deal. Valentine's Day is kind of like, you know, when it's new and crisp but when you've been with someone for a while it to me is just you you both were just kind of looking at each other like okay but also you're assuming that that everyone we're talking about is in a relationship because this is a day if yeah. you're not in a relationship oh. or you're not in a great relationship this is a day that just rubs it in yeah, yeah. right we just did a whole <laughs> joke rub it in joke uh, you're so good at playing joke uh, we just did this thing called Galentine's Day you yeah. know the girls you can get together so do single women I've been out of the game so long is this a day do people even care about this yeah, thing? I know when I was single, my girlfriends and I would go all go out to dinner and cry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we actually we'd all go out to dinner and have fun. And you know, a lot of women and, and men too love being single. Some people enjoy it and embrace it. And my mom used to tell me, enjoy it while you can. So when I was single, I just, you know, hung out with my girlfriends and had a lot of Did whiskey. men care about it before when they were single? Valentine's no. Day? No. <laughs> no. Not at all. You didn't yeah. Yeah. No. They celebrate. <laughs> In unison. <laughs> right? Just uh, a dance. One of my favorite Well, happy Valentine's Day. Yes, yeah. to all of you. To all of you.